Certain international delicacies and familiar ingredients have been banned in the U.S. for years, but the real reasons may surprise you. Join Facts First as we uncover the controversies behind banned foods you won't believe were ever outlawed. Kinder Surprise Eggs the iconic Kinder Surprise eggs have long been a favorite treat for children across Europe. But the beloved chocolate eggs are banned in the U.S. due to small parts regulations aimed at reducing choking hazards. Inside each foil-wrapped egg is a plastic capsule containing a small toy or trinket. In 1938, the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act prohibits embedding non-nutritive objects in confectionery products marketed to children. Despite no evidence directly linking Kinder Egg toys to child death, the Consumer Product Safety Commission views the ban as an important safeguard. Millions of kinder devotees around the world have petitioned to lift the ban over the years, claiming the regulation is overreach. Haggis No Burns Night celebration is complete without heaping plates of haggis, Scotland's national dish. But expats in America can't import the traditional mixture of sheep's offal, oats, and spices stewed inside a sheep's stomach. Since 1971, the USDA has banned foods containing sheep lungs out of concern over the pneumonia-like disease ovine scrapie. When sheep lungs are present during slaughter, fluids can spread disease through contact. While scrapie is not a risk to human health, the potential contamination frustrated efforts to overturn the ban. Without authentic lungs, U.S. haggis lacks the smooth, rich consistency prized by the Scots. Some say the ban is arbitrary since diseases could spread from other organs too. But for now, only homemade Americanized haggis is permitted. Beluga caviar Considered the ultimate delicacy among caviars, beluga caviar comes from the rare beluga sturgeon found in the Caspian Sea. With individual eggs selling for over $150, affordability has always been an issue with beluga caviar. But even the wealthy struggled to procure tins of the silky black pearls after the U.S. enacted a blanket ban on beluga caviar imports in 2005. Rampant overfishing throughout the 1900s decimated wild beluga stocks, with populations decreasing more than 90% in just a few decades. Beluga sturgeon take 10 to 20 years to reach maturity, making recovery slow. While some aquaculture beluga caviar enters the U.S. legally, the 2005 ban marked the end of an era for many fine dining establishments. Shark fins Dried shark fins are the key ingredient in shark fin soup, a traditional expensive delicacy in Chinese culture. Although the fins are flavorless, their presence imparts a prized gelatinous texture to the broth. However, the brutal practice of finning live sharks solely for their fins became common. Fishermen slice off the profitable fins and toss sharks back into the ocean to drown or bleed to death. U.S. bans aim to protect shark species from decimation. A 2000 federal law prohibited shark finning in all U.S. waters. While possession of fins is still legal in most states, obtaining fins legally has become nearly impossible without the ability to fin sharks. Though shark fins hold cultural significance, perceptions are shifting with greater awareness of finning cruelty and threats to the marine ecosystem. Foie gras Foie gras is a French specialty made from fattened duck or goose liver. The process of force-feeding corn to enlarge the animal's liver up to 10 times normal size generates intense controversy. California banned both foie gras production and sales in 2012 amid pressure from animal welfare advocates who see the practice as inhumane. Chicago, another top U.S. consumer of foie gras, passed a sales and serving restriction in 2006 before repealing it after two years due to uproar from chefs and foodies. Supporters defend foie gras preparation methods when performed correctly, while critics emphasize that no abuse should be tolerated simply for gourmet food. Aki fruit. With its bright red and yellow pods, aki is Jamaica's national fruit. Yet most Americans have never tried it since raw aki is banned in the U.S. Unripe aki contains hypoglycin A, a toxin that inhibits glucose release and can lead to severe hypoglycemia, vomiting, and even death if eaten. Aki's toxicity captured little attention until Jamaica's export markets expanded in the early 20th century. After multiple outbreaks abroad, the FDA banned importation of raw ackee in 1973. The cautious ban spared the U.S. from ackee poisoning incidents plaguing other countries in the decades since. Bushmeat Bushmeat refers to wild African animals hunted for food, including primates, bats, rodents, and antelopes. 
Bushmeat consumption is culturally significant for many Africans, but it carries considerable disease risk. Monkeys and apes can harbor Ebola, anthrax, and other pathogens dangerous when transmitted to humans. After a 2003 monkeypox outbreak in the U.S. was linked to infected smuggled bushmeat, the CDC cracked down. With up to five tons of bushmeat entering America daily, the potential public health implications were disconcerting. Though smuggling persists today, the ban aims to keep travelers and immigrant communities safe. Horse meat. Horse meat taboos make the notion of eating black beauty repulsive to many Americans. Yet, meat from horses is widely consumed in numerous countries around the world. There's no federal ban on eating horse meat in the U.S. However, since 2007, Congress has effectively blocked domestic horse slaughter by stripping funding for mandatory USDA inspections of processing plants. Only facilities with USDA inspectors can legally slaughter animals for human consumption. With deficiencies in current inspection rules, some view reinstating funding as reckless, but others argue domestic slaughter could be more humane than horses' transport to foreign plants. Over 100,000 American horses are slaughtered annually in Canada and Mexico to sate demand abroad. Raw Milk Pasteurization eliminates pathogens that can be present in raw milk, making it safe for consumption. But some raw milk proponents believe important nutrition and beneficial bacteria are diminished as well. It's not illegal to drink raw milk from your own cow in the U.S., but regulations prohibit the interstate distribution and retail sale of unpasteurized dairy products. Only legal intrastate sales can occur, and these are restricted to licensed farms in some states. All milk served in schools or markets marketed across state lines must be pasteurized. It's a constant battle between personal liberty and public health concerns. Queen conch meat. With their brightly colored shells and large white meat, queen conches are popular ingredients in Caribbean cuisine. But overfishing decimated wild conch populations in Florida and U.S. federal waters over past decades. Habitat degradation also diminished their numbers over time. To protect the species, it became illegal to fish for or even possess queen conch in federal jurisdictions and Florida starting in the 80s and 90s. Only international imports from some countries with healthier conch populations can be sold. Japanese pufferfish the Japanese delicacy fugu, or pufferfish, requires meticulous preparation to avoid poisoning diners. Pufferfish contain lethal amounts of tetrodotoxin in their organs and skin, a neurotoxin for which there's no antidote. Just a small amount can paralyze muscles and cause death. Beginning in 2002, the FDA banned pufferfish imports to the U.S. except for select non-toxic parts like cheeks and frozen meat. Only licensed chefs who complete certified training on safely preparing pufferfish can serve it in America. But some daring gourmands still seek out the dangerous fish from illegal suppliers, drawn to the adrenaline rush and bragging rights of flirting with death over dinner. Now it's time to hear from you. Would you want to eat any of these foods? Let us know in the comments section below.